What's My Line? Brought to you by Geritol, the high-potency vitamin iron-rich tonic in liquid or tablet to help you feel stronger. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the delightful star of stage and television, Miss Arlene Francis. Thank you. And now, the mastermind of Play Your Hunt, Monday through Friday, and weekends you're on your own, Robert Q. Lewis. We'd love to have you on, too. Now the lovely lady who writes the voice of Broadway for New York's Journal American and syndicated papers all over the country, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. And on my left, the mastermind of Random House, Mr. Bennett Sir. Very, very humid night in New York tonight, so I think it's very fitting that I should introduce our panel moderator who has a superb sense of humor, Mr. John. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me say daily. <laughs> the heat, as you know, often does dire things to diverse people. <laughs> well, you've just had one example of how bad it can be when it's hot and humid. We have a very humid day in New York tonight, but uh, Mr. Lewis, nice to have you with us. Thank I you, I trust Jeff. the panel won't think it. it's been hot around here after another half hour has gone by. We have some very interesting occupations, and we will also have a famous mystery guest before my friends and the panel a little bit later in the program. We'll meet our first challenger after this word. First contestant, will you enter and sign in, please? Linda? McCarran, is that right? <laughs> is it Miss or Mrs.? It's Miss. Miss McCarran. Yes. Matter of fact, you just started school, aren't you? Right. You graduated from? University of South Dakota. Uh, congratulations. Thanks. That's something to be proud of. And wh where are you from in South Dakota? I'm from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. From Sioux Falls, mm -hmm. South Dakota. It's very nice to have you with us. May I present our panel? Mm -hmm. Now, will you join me over here, Mr. McCarran? You know how we can go Fine. In that event, we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. Panel, I think it's only fair to, to say that you have noted, I dare say, in the conversation that Mr. Karen has just graduated from, from university and that uh, the line which you are seeking is one which uh, she, she has practiced on a, well, a student part-time basis. And uh, so that, that gives you, I think, a, a reasonable amount of fair information. Beyond that, we can tell you that Mr. McCarran is salaried and deals in a product. And let's begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Sir. Mr. McCarran, did you have the privilege of uh, doing something with this product at the university while you were there? No. No, not no. at the university. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Frank. Miss McCarran, is it um, a service that uh, could be enjoyed by perhaps uh, someone it's, on uh, this? Uh, a product, Arlene. A product? A salary and deals a in a product. product. Is it a product that might ever have been used by anyone on this panel? Yes. Is it a product that would be uh, found in the home? Yes. Could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it could also be found out of the home, I take it then. Yes. Is it a product that one would see easily? If, yes. You mean if it was out where it could be seen, would you see it easily? <laughs> Rather than, it isn't a product that you would hide. <laughs> oh, no. 
Well, I would say that if the product was out where it could be seen, you could see it. All right. I think that's a fair answer. It doesn't come in contact with the person, this product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, does it touch the person in any way? Yes. Is it something other than apparel? Yes. Is it something you might hold in your hand? Yes. In fact, is it better if you hold it in your hand? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Is it, uh, is it a product that has anything whatsoever to do with food? No. Do down a date to go, Mr. Lewis. This, uh, I, there was quite a laugh when you were asked whether you would use this product at the university. I don't know much about that school, but, uh, would a gentleman use this product? Yes. Would he be better off for having used this product? I think so. I think there we'd have to take the question as asked in a very broad sense. If a gentleman wished to make use of this product, I think it's fair to say that after its use, he would, uh, have a sense of well-being, of achievement, or something like that, yes. I wish I, I could use it right now. <laughs> is there any possibility that this product, uh, when it is applied to the body, is applied to an area above the neck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Three down, seven to go, Miss Kilgallen. It's part of the body? Oh. Uh, below the neck? Well, I, I, I think, is your question, is it applied to the body below the neck? Well, maybe I'd better clarify. Yeah, I, I was I assuming that Bob uh, was no. right when he said it, it's applied to the body. Do we just know that it comes in contact with a person? Is that it? Um, it does come in contact with a person? Yes. Uh, does it come in contact with a person sometimes, even if the person isn't holding it? Mm, no, I wouldn't holding. say so. No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. We would Karen, do. is this product consumable? I think we could say in a manner of speaking it's consumed, it's wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. But is it, is it not, it does not come under either the category of food or drink, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, is it something that could be found possibly in a place that improved people's health, like a drugstore? Mm, no. 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 Five down and five to go, Miss French. Is it a product that you might hold and someone else might use while you're holding it? Well, I think the best way to answer that is no. Six down, <laughs> four to go. Oh, <laughs> this could be it. This product yeah. comes in contact with the person, though. Uh, when I went out to buy this product, and now I have great doubts about that venture, <laughs> Would I possibly find it in a specialty shop of some sort? Well, I would say that we could agree uh, that you might find it in an area which would come within the general definition of a specialty store or emporium of one kind or another. Would, uh, would this, uh, uh, or emporium of one sort or another, suppose I went into a major department store, would there be, uh, would I find it in a department store? No. no I, I wouldn't not. think so. Seven down and three to go. I'm going to give you one more minute, Miss Kilgallen. Now, you said that this can be found in the home or out. Right. Would, if I were using this, would it ever be logical that I would use this product while anyone was watching me? Yes. It doesn't have to be used in privacy. No. Could, would I ever use it at a party? Uh, yes, you might yes, use it might. at a party. Mm -hmm. uh, at a picnic? Yes. You might. Does it ever contain anything? Oh, I would think we could agree that the products on occasion contain something, yes. Would it more likely to... Oh, uh, could a person enjoy this without being engaged in anything seasonal or a hobby or anything special? And is this for the average person? Well, I would say you could enjoy it at any time if it was a time when you felt it was indicated that its use was proper, reasonable, and uh, judicious. I don't feel it's indicated, really, but um, uh, it is solid rather than liquid. Yes. If you put something into it, would that be another solid? You put something into it, that would certainly be solid, Jackson. I'm getting lost. Question, John. Yes, uh, is this product used in connection with any animal? 
No. No? <laughs> uh, yes, Bob. Uh, hey, John, I've been in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, in the Air Force. Is there anything to keep your hands warm? Is it a hand warm? <laughs> ah, golly, that's great. As it would help to keep your hands warm. Fireworks, especially if you uh, have a little trouble with <laughs> it. <laughs> I thought you had it there for a moment, Bob, because actually Mr. McCarran is, is uh, with the Sioux Falls Fireworks Company, and I thought you might have been there and seen the fireworks company sign. Do you make them? No. We don't manufacture any. We assemble them and package them. But we and, sell them. And, and sell them. Now, are they illegal in many states, Mr. McCarran? Yeah. In many states they are. In South Dakota they are legal. They're legal. Actually, even in South Dakota, the period when they can be sold is yes. restricted. I think it's, yes. it's just the period around July 4th, isn't it? For no. nine days. For nine days around July 4th. And states vary in their, their thing. The basic thing is, I guess we all get a kick out of fireworks. The basic thing is to use them safely. And, and if you hurt yourself want. around the 4th of July, that's considered all right, I guess. No. <laughs> use them safely. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Karen. You. It was nice to have you on What's My Life. <laughs> Now to meet our second contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Edward? Hudson. Right, sir? <laughs> Mr. Hudson, where are you from, sir? Jamaica. Jamaica? New York. Jamaica, New York, out here in the Long yes. Island area. Well, it's nice to have you with us. May I present our panel, Mr. Hodgson? Now, would you join me over here, please, sir? You know how we keep score? Fine, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. <laughs> All right. Panel, I can tell you that Mr. Hodgson is salaried and deals in a service. And let's begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Friend. Mr. Hodgson, is this a service that benefits mankind? <laughs> well, oh, I... Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, terrific business. Your benefit. Oh, benefit, yeah. yeah. I think Mr. Hodgson and I would agree. Mr. Hodgson misunderstood what you said better. I would think that there certainly is a, a, a group of uh, what we might yes. consider the human species who could be benefited by this service. Does, uh, Mr. Hodgson, do you work for a non-profit making organization? Yes, ma'am. You work for a non-profit? Non no, 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 you work for a profit. profit That's yes. right. Yes, I, I would hope so, Mr. Yes, yes indeed. That's I think one Mr. Time. Hodgson wants to be on my side. Well, Mr. Hodgson wants to be on your side, but his employers want to be on my side. And you get one down and nine to go, Mr. Lewis. Uh, Mr. Hodgson, <clears throat> this is a, uh, I, I take it then, a salaried position with a profit-making organization. Yes. When I come to you, would I come to you for your services? In a manner of speaking, let's say that you would have to use the initiative to get the, the use of the service. I would have to use an initiative? You would initiative? have to use the initiative to get the benefit of the service. I see. Is your service in any way instructive? Uh, I think yes, so, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Does the, your, uh, the, the, uh, the laughter, does your service have anything whatsoever to do with what might be, if your services were improperly used by me, criminal in action. No, sir. No, that's very good. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you work indoors, Mr. Hodgson? No, ma'am. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Hodgson, do you have anything whatever to do with transportation? No, sir. Well, now, I must say. Mr. Hodgson and I are going to have a little talk. Pretty fellow. <laughs> no, not transportation. I think, Mr. John, putting him in transportation. Benefit, we, uh, uh, Bennett, I'm sorry. Uh, benefit? That sense benefit. of humor again. <laughs> I've always said Bennett's one of the greatest of human beings. Um, well, that one didn't get me anywhere, did it? No. <laughs> this is a difficult question. I don't want to mislead you. We would have yeah. to... Let's say this. We, will, we don't want to give you a no, but we don't exactly give you a yes. You can ask another question. 
All right, Mr. Hodgins. Is your work in any way connected with automobiles? No, sir. That's four down and six to go. Thank you, Bennett. That cleared it up. Miss Francis? In your work, do you go from place to place rather than remain sedentary? I remain uh, uh, second right at the same place all the time. I never move. You never move? No. Oh, Mr. Hodge. Just a minute. No, I don't move. No, I don't move. You ought to move a little. Now, now we'll move a card, though. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Hodgson, this is a pure hunch. You'll pardon the plug. Do you have anything whatsoever to do in, uh, with the um, with amusement of any shape, manner, or form? Yes, sir. Ah. Uh, is it just, again, I'm really playing a hunch. Have you anything, uh, is, is the amusement area in which you work uh, situated on Long Island? Yes, sir. Could it possibly be situated within the confines of Jones Beach? No, sir. That's very good, Bob. Six no. down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, Mr. Hodgson, would the place where you are employed be called an amusement park? Yes, ma'am. Does it have rides that children and grown-ups no, can no, go? No, no, no. You see, mm -hmm. it wouldn't be really called an amusement park. It would be a place where there is an element of amusement. Uh -huh. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Smith. In other words, Mr. Hodgson's mind, is your, is your work located near or at the edge of water? Yes. Uh, with, on some beach? No. no. Eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. You're not anywhere near water, is that yeah, what we Oh, water. you are near the water. The question was asked near or at the edge, and the answer oh, was Oh, jolly near. good. But you are near water. That is not necessarily important, I will add. This no? Time. I am near water right now. You know, the Hudson's out here, <laughs> and the East River's there, and the Bay's back here. <laughs> However, is what you do something that people pay for? Yes, ma'am. Do you conduct them from one place to another place? No, ma'am. No. no, I'm going to throw this. Is this one is just... Is it anything at Coney Island? No. Bob? Uh, World's Fair. Anything whatsoever to do with the New York World Fair? How about Aqueduct? He takes tickets. Oh. oh! And Race Horse Clocker. Oh! That's <laughs> Mr. Hodgson is with Triangle Publications, you know, and he, he's one of those indomitable souls who's up in the early hours of the day when the, they're running the well, I guess, pre preliminaries or the preambles to a racing day and the information that he gathers, clocking the horses then, all is very part to the fraternity of improving the breed. It goes to the public. The Daily the, uh, Telegraph, is it? The Daily Telegraph, Triangle Publications. Thank you very much, Mr. Hodgson. It was nice to have you with us and watch my life. tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. This will feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends on the panel are always blindfolded, as you know. Are those blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, yes, yes sir. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? case one question at a time in turn moving clockwise and we'll begin with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, are you in show business? Mm, yes. Mr. Sir? <laughs> Would you say that your work was particularly well known uh, as emanating from Hollywood motion pictures? No. Well I would have to say with your permission I would say here that Certainly uh, a reputation that has been gained in many areas has much of its stature from work in, in Hollywood and in the motion picture area generally. So we'll give you a qualified yes. Ms. Francis? Are you also uh, known for your work in record your work in recording? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Lewis. Are you now or have you ever appeared on the legitimate Broadway stage? Yes. Ms. Kilgallen? Yes. 
Yes. Are you usually playing a leading man type? Yes. Mr. Sir? Are you at present appearing in the Broadway sector? No. Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis? No. Are you known for your work in television? No. No, this is not to say that our guest has not been in television, but this is not of the major area of his activity. Mr. Lewis, three down and seven to go. Is there a motion picture which has currently been released in which you are featured? Or starred, I'm sure. Next month. <laughs> <laughs> well, that gets a no. Four down and six to go, Miss Gilgallan. Um, you say you haven't been on television regularly. Is that correct? That's correct. Are you American-born? Yes. Mr. Sir? Have you ever starred in a religious picture, a picture based on biblical stories? I played a priest once. <laughs> Miss Francis? Everybody's been in a religious picture. Uh, are you, rather than the uh, juvenile, are you a full-fledged leading man? I hope so. Yes, Mr. Lewis? Are you about to appear in summer stock in our area? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you married? Oh, uh... Isn't everybody? <laughs> Separated. Mr. Seth? Separated. <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up. Are you more of a... Do you feature playing more in drama than comedy? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Francis. A comedian who is on the star circus. Driving me crazy. Um... Uh, uh, have you been part of a series in television? No. No, and actually, we're beginning to run out of time, so you can all take your masks off, and somebody finally beat you. Van Johnson. <laughs> 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 Who is, by the way, going to be in summer stock in this area, but is going to open in Indianapolis soon in, in uh, I Daniel. leave tomorrow for Indianapolis for Bob Young, Damn Yankees. Dan, he's going to be going to let me stay over here to do this tonight, so I mentioned This is the it. first time you fooled us, then. That's no. Right. I, 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 didn't like we old, get it? I like an old man. Oh, yeah. I got through last time, too. Yeah? Oh, uh, you're down, way down the there. Same voice, Arlene. No, it's not. That's what You've I said. It wasn't the same voice. You've just grown older in a year. <laughs> 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 and Wives and Lovers is going to open in a, within... Oh, uh, please, John. The Paramount boys are standing backstage with a gun at my head. I have to say Wives and Lovers, Hal Wallace, Paramount, Janet Lee, Martha Hyatt, Shelley Winters. When? It opens in September at Paramount. Well, I'll there we are. So that does it. Van, thanks very much for giving yeah, us... My love staying in town and hanging with you. Uh, you've had a rough time tonight so far, panel, and we're glad of it. And we'll all be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. A bit of a rough time tonight. Oh, well, I think oh, we had a bit of a rough time. Wow. Well, nothing. that's all right. Don't worry about it. After all, you are one of the great human beings of all time. <laughs> uh, well, second time round at work. Nice to have you with us, Bob Lewis, and good night, Miss Arlene Francis. Good night, John. I'm sorry we didn't get anything, but we still have you, don't we? Good night. <laughs> good night, Arlene. Good night, Doris. Good night, dear. Good night, Bennett. Night, John. You always get some of those red socks like Van Johnson was wearing. <laughs> I've never played baseball professionally, old boy. <laughs> See, I rather like that, and thank you all for being with us on What's My Life. is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cotman. Johnny Olsen speaking.